And what they're saying, so what this, this anti-bullying website is saying, and I know this kind of sounds ridiculous, but uh, before you enroll your child into school, you should ask them, where, is, where are your anti-bullying um, I don't want to call them laws, but like, what are your rules for anti-bullying? And they should have a whole section that the school should be able to provide provide to you. Well, that was Tell another you. issue. So Ocean Springs the School District does have anti-bullying, um, you know, laws and rules, but they don't uphold them. Just like uh, that was one of the big issues with the girls only getting 21 days at the exceptional school. Uh, what the bullying rules and regulations for Ocean Springs Middle School says that, you know, if it's continuous bullying, and I'm paraphrasing here, forgive me for not remembering all of it, but something to the effect of uh, if it's continuously bullying and you've done this over and over again and you've gotten in trouble for it, then you will be sent to exceptional school. You'll be expelled for the remainder of the year. Exceptional school is when you're expelled, you're expelled from the public school. They have a school in the public school district where all the expelled students go. The students that continue to get in trouble. So these girls went to the exceptional school, but only for like 21 days. Then they got to return to the middle school, like nothing ever happened, continue to play their sports, go about their lives, bragging about how they made Aubrey commit. The most horrendous thing I've ever seen. And just so you know, in Mississippi, the anti-bullying laws do not require district to train teachers and other school staff on how to respond to bullying, bullying incidents. I believe it. Right, so here's some of the um, text messages and pictures of proof. Aubrey sent this to her mom. I'm just over Molly talking about me. I understand. It's annoying. Like, she can't just go talk about someone the minute she's upset. Well, hold on. Where's my arrow? Okay, let me do it this way. The other issue that kind of comes into play here is these children are young. They can't be charged as adults. I mean, I don't... You know what I'm saying? Like, could they possibly... At this point, Heather was saying, I don't even... At the end of it, Heather was like, I don't even care about these kids being charged. These kids need mental help and they're not even getting that i I understand that but i'm saying this i mean these cases these cases need to start standing out and these judges need to keep coming start coming down on these kids to make a point that if you're gonna do this this is what's gonna happen absolutely it has to we we have to stop this we're you know a slap on the hand type of things but at the same time we also need a um school district that has laws in place that have followed everything and said look we did this we did that we followed this we followed that these children keep doing it now what okay uh morgan i will so this is another one this is from may 24th 2021 it says well i just hold on i'm getting bringing it back up I'm not reading names. I'm not speaking them out loud, but y'all can read them for yourself. Is being so mean. Tell the teacher. They don't care. She is evil. Morgan, did your friend get here to see it? So I can go to the next one. Correct. The teachers did nothing. Because this child father is a superintendent of the neighboring district. Uh, Morgan, I'm going to go to the next one, but if I need to come back to this one, I can. November 8th, 2022. Bro. M is being so rude right now. What's she doing? She is just rude. Agree. Like she is mad at me for no reason. It's annoying. 
Sorry for the word, but M is being such a B. She is literally talking shit about me to everyone. This is Aubrey texting her mom. That's the father, superintendent of Jackson County School District. There is a petition to remove him as superintendent. I don't know if it'll do any good, but go sign it anyways. This is the one. Um, it's cut off, but did you tell the teacher? Yes. But please, she was like, Mom, please don't say anything. I don't want to get bullied over this. Just drop it. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Like, you can see the handprint on that child's face. And then Heather said, um... You better let me know something because I'm going to raise hell if not. Are you okay? I don't think he is. Like, the principal's not going to do anything. Because it's who she is. And then Heather said, I'll raise hell. And she did. And she got suspended for one single day. Blank slapped me across the face. On purpose or accident? Purpose. Go tell the teacher immediately. Now. I'm in the counselor's office. They're getting my stuff. What is going to happen to her? Why did she do it? No idea. She did it because I said I hate someone as a joke. And then said, okay. And then it cuts off. Um, wife, Mama Chales, do you have a F? Do you have a Facebook? Search. In the search bar, Aubrey Wyatt. Uh petition Aubrey Wyatt petition and it should pull it up and then here this is another one of the friends uh, Snapchat they're saying they didn't bully her they kinda did cause this one what did blank say to her and shit saying she was fat and stuff and blank slapped her and they fell out what hold on that's her classmates talking about how she was bullied after her death. And that's all I've got of those right now. There's a lot more that we're on. Um, let me put y'all back in my ring light. There's a lot more that we're on page after her death um the friends were talking about they didn't bully her they kind of did because m what did m say to her saying she was fat and stuff and, and blank slapped her and then they fell out um i've also seen another one there is a page yeah i'm just they're minor so i'm just not saying their names on my live on my account I'm not going to be slapped with a slander charge or, you know what I mean? Um, she absolutely was. My heart hurts for Aubrey. She did not, um, deserve what happened to her. But I, I hurt for Heather. She can't even, um, grieve her daughter. She, she can't even use her platform as something for good. She was... She had the Aubrey White Foundation. She was speaking out against mental health, against bullying. She was helping other families who have also lost their child due to bullying. Um, up about 30 minutes above us is a place called East Central, East Central School District. Right around the same time that this happened to Aubrey, this happened to a child in that school district, um, a young boy. And I don't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, but they, it was, he passed right before Aubrey did. Um, but he, his parents and Heather got together and they were doing so much good. I, we had a couple of people in here saying that, um, the cops reopened this case. I, I am in South Mississippi. I live one town over. Um, 
people are saying they opened this case. I've not heard that. I'm, I will check into that. But I've not heard that. There is a court hearing on you and go for it. Okay. I'm the opposite direction. Um, there's a court hearing on the 18th of this month. Okay, Bobby. Uh, when, when you don't mind, can I read you something from the um, Jackson Public School District? Jackson or Jackson County? Well, it comes from the Jackson County, but it says the Jackson Public School District. Okay, well, there's two different things. So the Jackson County School District is here, but the Jackson Public School District is in Jackson, Mississippi, which is like four hours from us. I mean, you can, it'll still be relevant. I mean, if it's about bullying and stuff. Yeah, it's about bullying. It says the Board of Trustees of the Jackson Public School District intends to provide all students with an equitable opportunity to learn. The Board of Trustees has a significant interest in providing a safe, orderly, and respectful school environment that is conducive to student learning. It shall be against district policy for any student to engage in any bullying or harassing behavior that includes but is not limited to bullying or harassing behavior that is based on race, religion, X, creed, or color, national origin, physical appearance, gender, identity, ancestry, academic status, behavior, actual orientation, mental, physical, development, uh, I'm sorry, mental, physical, developmental, or sensory disability, or by association with a person who has or is perceived to have one or more of these characteristics, or other actual or perceived different differentiating characteristics such behavior will not be condoned by the district bullying or harassing behavior uh, I'm sorry will not be condoned by the district bullying or harassing behavior in, is any pattern of gestures or written electronic or verbal communications or any physical act or any threatening communication that takes place on district property at any district sponsored function or on a school bus or school vehicle that one places a student or district employee in actual and responsible fear of harm to his or her person or damage to his or her property or two creates or is certain to create a hostile environment by substantially interfering with or impairing a student's educational performance opportunities or benefits an employee's work performance, opportunities, or benefits. A hostile environment means that the victim sub subjectively views the conduct as bullying or harassing behavior, and the conduct is objectively severe or pervasive enough that a reasonably reasonable person would agree, hang on, that it is bullying or harassing behavior. Bullying or harassing behavior that takes place off district property will not be condoned or tolerated by the district when such conduct in the termination of the school superintendent or principal renders the offending person's presence in the classroom a disruption to the educational environment of the school or a, determ a, de uh, a detriment to the best interest and welfare of the pupils and teachers of such school as a whole. Some of examples of bullying include, but are not limited to the following. Physical, hitting, kicking, spitting, pushing, pulling, taking, and or damaging personal belongings, or extorting money, blocking, or impeding student and employee movement, or unwelcome physical contact. Verbal, taunting, malicious teasing, insulting, name calling, making threats, or telephone calls. Psychological, spreading rumors, manipulating, social relationships, co coercion, or engaging in social exclusion slash shunning, extortion, or intimidation. Cyberbullying, the use of information and communication technology such as email, cell phone, text messages, instant messaging, defamatory personal websites, computers, other electronic devices, and defamatory online personal polling websites to support deliberate 
repeated and hostile behavior by an individual or group that is intended to harm, humiliate, tease, intimidate, or harass others. The district will make every reasonable effort to ensure that this to ensure that no student or district employee is subject to bullying or harassment by other persons. Yeah, I'll just pull it up. Ocean Springs School District's bullying policy, and it's essentially the same thing. But just because they have a bullying policy does not mean they enforce it. Right, but I'm just saying, state law says they have to have this policy and should be reinforcing it, which obviously they did not. That's the issue here, and I think that's what um, Heather's main thing with the school is here, right? Like, you have the policy, but you're not enforcing it. And See, but here's the other thing, too. This is what kind of gets me, is if you look under their right. disciplinary actions, it says students who engage in bullying or harassing behaviors or retaliation are subject to dis disciplinary action as outlined in the District Code of Conduct handbook. This, yeah, but they're the, dis not. the discipline policy and procedures must be recognized, recognized the fundamental right of every student to take reasonable actions as may be necessary or defend himself or herself from an attack by another student who has evidence menacing or threatening behavior through bullying or harassing. So in other words, they don't outline in here what could happen if you're bullying. Now we have to go back to the student conduct handbook. Where they don't, they, they have to have a student handbook. Every school has to have a student handbook, but they're, they don't enforce it. They enforce what they want to enforce. They don't, you know, they enforce dress code or they enforce, you know, tobacco use. But when it comes to things with certain students that can then cause issues with the school, they don't have to enforce it. When it comes to students whose parents have money who make donations to the school district and who are in the back pockets of these uh, politicians in the city and in the district, they don't want to enforce it. They're not going to, and that's just point blank, period. And just so you know, this stuff came from, and here's what I find even more disturbing, is this came from the National School Board Association, Mississippi School Board Association. So that's like the whole entity, you know what I mean? That's, that's the school board as a whole that came down with these laws for the schools to follow. Um, the Senate bill was 2015, Miss Code, whatever, it gives all the codes. The date was August 17th, 2010. So you mean to tell, well, okay, then they have December 14th, 2010, and then August 4th, 2016. So you're telling me that these laws have not been looked at or updated since 2016. Right. Right. Which to me is ridiculous because things change all the time. And we've had not just in Mississippi, but other states of these kids being bullied. And it just seems like these schools just turn their eye. 4,400 children a year commit to the bullying. 4,400 a year commit to the bullying. Children. You know there's that many adults that do it too. But that's children, 4,400 a year. And it's not because the children are weak. It's not because, I mean, I've heard things, I've heard people put out there, oh, it's just because the kid's weak. Kids got to grow, you know, kids got to grow some tough skin. And, you know, it, no, it's not. It, that has not, nothing to do with it. A child should be safe and not be bullied. H M N W. Who? Sending you all my love. My inbox is always open. I'm so glad you're still here. Your life matters. You are loved and you're cared about. Anybody, anybody. The 117 people that are in there right now, if you were ever struggling, if you were ever having a dark day, don't feel like getting out of bed that day. I'll have those things myself. Well, we can get through it together.